हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर संगीता जोशी फ्रॉम विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मुंबई करंटली वी आर स्टडिंग द कोर्स फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ लॉजिक सर्किट्स इट्स अ लैब कोर्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सर ऑपरेशन यूजिंग एल टी स्पाइस हाउ एवर इट वॉज ऑल ऑन पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट दिस यूजिंग एल टी स्पाइस सो लेटस गो टू द एल टी स्पाइस so circuit i'll show you one of two max so here you can see the circuit uh, so it is comprising of two and gates to for the two inputs and select line and since we select line will either activate this or this that means data is to be transferred from a to y or b to y at a time only one data transfer would be possible therefore this inverter plays a very important role so whenever s is equal to 0 so that time this input will be would be One and therefore this A would be available at the output and whenever S is equal to one, what is the data on the B that would be made available at the output. Now if you look at the uh, voltage sources which I have uh, used, so with the frequencies are different. So here it is a um, period of two microsecond, so it is almost five hundred um, kilohertz. Uh, for one microsecond it is now I am uh, it is one megahertz. so i am increasing the i am doubling the period so my frequency is half and here 10 microsecond is the t on and 20 microsecond is the t off i am in total period and for how much time uh, i am giving for the s s i am giving the 200 microsecond so one cycle of s is 200 microsecond so 100 microseconds it will be on for uh, i mean one and for 100 my uh, another 100 microsecond it will be zero so within this 100 microsecond i have to observe what data is available at the output whether a or b and that therefore i have kept the distinctly different frequencies so that we can identify through the waveforms and uh, i have given the name through comments i have included the 74hct.lib and this analysis i am doing it for the 200 microsecond so that uh, s is equal to 0 and s is equal to 1 entirely would be captured i can take two cycles also that also would be possible but minimum one cycle is required to understand the entire operation so if i run this so i'll make the add the planes we require to uh, actually i had already run this so this is my a input this is my b input and this is my y input this is my y output and this is my select line now you can see here you can see here whenever my s is equal to 0 this is s is equal to 0 i had set it for 100 microsecond you can see here 100 microsecond so whenever entire s is equal to 0 there i am expecting a input to be connected to the output you can see again the diagram you can see again the diagram so this a input is connected to the output when s is equal to 0 so you can see here so this is the frequency which is prominently uh, different from the b1 and you can see here this is my output this is my output v v y so this is the output so here you can see that my frequency at the output available is nothing but the data whichever is available at a input now whenever s is equal to 1 that time b data is getting connected to the output and you can see here the b data is available on the output so that is how we can say that multiplexer operation is verified now i'll uh, take you to the another uh, multiplexer uh, which is a uh, ic available 74h ct151 i mean 74151 is a 8 of 1 uh, of 8 or 8 as to 1 multiplexer that means there are eight inputs i0 to i7 and outputs are available in the active low as well as the active high so i have taken the active high output and uh, here are the three select lines s0 s1 and s2 and this is the enable line which is the active low so i have grounded it directly now what i have done this s0 s1 s2 i have taken uh, 2 millisecond time period here 4 millisecond period here and 8 millisecond period here and what i have done here here for i0 to i7 i have taken different frequencies 100 microsecond 200 microsecond 200 to 400 then here 800 there 1600 here 20 40 80 and 160 
so wide variety of frequencies are made available at the different in inputs why this is done because i need to understand basically uh, at a time only one will be available at the output and that is based on the s0 s1 and s2 so when the s0 is one data is made available at the uh, output or not once that is verified we can say that the multiplexer operation is verified so what i'll i'll run this so i'll close the earlier windows since i have already uh, run this program so all waveforms are made available what waveforms i have taken just for your um, understanding i'll show you i have taken all these waveforms i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 so all eight inputs i have captured for the display as well as the uh, this s0 s1 s2 also i have captured so this 8 plus this 3 9 10 11 and this 12 that is the output so 12 outputs i have shown at the display on the display you can see here this is the max output that is the on the top then right from i0 i i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 so which are having the wide variety of i mean different frequencies to understand which one is available at the output and this is the s0 s1 and s2 see you can see here s2 is the most significant bit so which is 0 here and then which is 1 here and then uh, next bit is the s1 and next to that least significant bit is the s0 now if you look at this point from this to this actually here 0 0 and 0 so all signals are 0 that means this is my 0 0 0 status of the s0 is 0 0 0 so what is expected here i am expecting here uh, 0 means i0 i0 output to be made available and you can see here very well you can see here here you are getting the i0 i0 at the output is the same frequency as that of the i0 here then whenever this is 0 and this is 1 so basically what does it mean uh, this is 1 and this is i mean this is 0 0 and 1 so that means my s0 is now 1 that means this is a 0 0 1 combination of the select lines and what i am expecting now i1 to be made available what is the frequency of i1 you can see here i1 so where my cursor is and now you can see here during this period exactly the same frequency you will find here i1 okay till what time till my s0 s select lines are changing now again here select lines are changing 0 1 0 that means 2 here and 2 means i2 you can see the frequency of i2 here and that is made available here so that is how i am getting the i2 then here i am getting the i3 0 1 and 1 s2 is 0 s1 is 1 s0 is 1 so that is the 3 3 means i should look at the uh, i0 i1 i2 i3 so the, you can see this frequency i hardly hardly a half cycle is coming here so till this point our s3 i3 is over now thereafter i have changed the frequency to uh, i mean different frequencies i have changed you can see this using the i mean you can okay i will show you right away like this only so this is the one this is the zero and this is the this is the uh, three four now four means one zero zero so four means i4 i should get so you, this is the i4 you can see that this blue color and this color same frequency is there then here the i5 you can say i5 this frequency and this frequency is the same and then i7 you can see this is the i7 and this is the i6 this is the i6 and here you can see the combination 1 1 and 0 that is the i6 and here all are 1 that is the i7 that means this green color i7 so here you can see the same frequency that is the i7 so likewise we can see that all uh, 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 this operation of the mux that means whenever based on the select lines whatever is the frequency that we are selecting so that is made available here at the output that is what we have observed using the these waveforms thank you